Good morning, dear students. Today we'll continue with Microsoft Word. I'm going to open my already saved file from yesterday. Remember the paragraph about the insects and the formatting tools we've done yet, we've used yesterday? Okay. Today we're going to take uh, a new lesson on the same paragraph, on the same document. Here, we have two more buttons here, our icons in Microsoft Word formatting tools in Home tab. This one is called Decrease Indent, Increase Indent, Decrease Indent, and Increase Indent. Increase Indent, you're, you are adding more space between the text and the margins. Every document or every paper here or sheet in the in the file has margins. Margins in the left side, margin in the right side, margin in the top, and margin at the bottom. Every sheet has four margins. The space between the margin and the text, we want to increase it or decrease it. That's why it's called increase indent and decrease indent. Let's see it together. Can you? Here's my paragraph. I'm going to store it from the paragraph, first paragraph. The sheet has, or the file has, two paragraphs. Paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. Let's see the difference. Can you? We'll increase indent. We're going to use the increase indent button. See what happens? All the text, all the paragraph, increase the space between the margins and the text. This is called increasing indent. If I want to decrease, to make it less space between the text and the margins, I, I, I select decrease and it will be the same again. Okay? Again, the other paragraph here. I'm going to increase the indent, space indent. And then, if I don't want, if I want to return it back or decrease it, I do like that. I don't want to decrease it more because I want to make sure that we have to see that we have two pairs in the same file. Okay, but we have got two new buttons here: decrease indent, increase indent. Got it? Okay. Now we took how to copy and paste last year together in paint program how to copy more than one picture and paste it somewhere else or to cut it and move it and paste it somewhere else so we're gonna try this on text on words I want to repeat the sentence inserts insects are a kind of animal I wanna repeat it here after this paragraph so I'm gonna select it we have more than we have three ways okay I'll show you all the, the two ways and the third you cannot see it because it's using the keyboard keys shortcut keys Inse insects are a kind of animal I'm selecting the text either with the mouse or shift with arrow keys remember we took this lesson in the second quarter shift with arrow keys to the right side shift plus the arrow keys direction of the right side or shift selecting with the mouse and then I have the first way right click I press right click using the mouse right click button and then a menu appears to me I select the word what what do I want to do I want to copy so I'm gonna select copy and then very important to place the cursor of the mouse in the place you want to the, the text to be pasted in so this is the cursor I placed it here I want it in the, in the third paragraph I want to repeat the first sentence in this first paragraph then what do I do if I place the cursor in the place I want to my my text or my sentence to be pasted or copied and then right I press right click on the mouse and I select which button paste I pasted my text here again I'm gonna undo this and then do it redo it again undo remember the two buttons undo and redo 
Okay, I'm going to select the first sentence using the mouse or shift plus arrow keys. And I'm going to try the first way. Right click, choose copy, and then I must place my cursor in the place I want to paste my sentence. And then I press right click, paste. Got it? I think it's easy. Undo, we have another way. I'm going to select my sentence again. See, the first step is the same in the two ways. Selecting the sentence, and then we have here in the Home tab, Copy, Cut, and Paste. We're going to select Copy, and then the second way, the second step, I want, I, I, I can hear you talking or saying the words. I'm going to place my cursor here and then select which button, paste. See the second way? Undo. I'm going to repeat it again. Select my sentence. Select the, or the, the comment, copy. And then place my cursor in the place I want to paste my sentence. And then select paste. There is another way using the shortcut keys of the keyboard, Ctrl plus C and copy, and then Ctrl plus V, paste the sentence. Got it? Huh, do you want me to repeat it? I can cut the sentence and paste it somewhere else. Cut is to move the sentence from its place to another place and paste it somewhere else. See, the sentence was in the bottom, in the beginning of the third paragraph. I paste it before the second paragraph. Let's repeat this. Undo. Undo. Yeah, we have two paragraphs. I want to put three to add or to remove. The first sentence from the first paragraph and paste it in the third paragraph. How do I do this? To remove. To move means you're moving, you're cutting, you're moving, you're not copying. I'm going to select and then right click. Which button I choose this time? Uh, what do you think? Copy? No. Cut. And then I'm going to place my, it's the same steps, place my cursor in the place I want to add my sentence there, or to paste my sentence there, or to move my, my sentence there, and then right click, paste. What happens here? The sentence, the first sentence in the first paragraph disappeared from the first paragraph, and it's been in the beginning of the third paragraph. I cut the sentence and I paste it here. I didn't copy the sentence and paste it here. Do you see the difference between cut and paste? Cut, you're moving the sentence from its place, it's not there anymore, and pasting it somewhere else. Copy, you have more than one copy. See? Here is copy. Insects are kind of animals. Insects are kind of a animal. Got it? Thank you for today and tomorrow we're going to continue. Next session.